Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to set up and use member groups. You can organize members from different membership levels into member groups according to their interests or participation in committees. Organizing members into member groups allows you to select groups to receive email blasts, including event announcements, control page access by member group, restrict events by member group, and limit permissions in blogs and forums by member group. To set up and manage your member groups, click the Groups option under the Members menu. On the Group Management screen that appears, you see a list of member groups and the number of participants in each group. To create a new member group, click the Add New Group button. From the screen that appears, enter a name for the group and optionally a description. When you click Save, a new member group is added to the list. To change the name and description of an existing member group, click it within the list. To add members to a group, click the Manage Participants button from the Group's Details screen. Now, Select them within the All Members list on the right, then click the Add to Group button. You can only add members to member groups, not non-member contacts. To remove members from the group, select them within the Participants in Selected Group list on the left, and click the Remove from Group button. To switch to managing a different member group, click the selected group list and choose the group. When you are finished managing your groups, click Save All Changes. You can control group participation for individual members from the Membership tab of their contact record. From the Membership tab, Click the Edit button within the Group Participation section. From the screen that appears, you can check the member groups you want the member to belong to. To delete a member group, click the Remove link beside it within the list on the Group Management screen. You will be prompted to confirm your request to remove the group. Deleting a member group has no effect on the members in the group, other than removing them from the group. To control whether members can view and or change their group participation, choose the Membership Fields option from the Members menu. Within the list of membership fields, click Group Participation. Under Member Access, choose the appropriate Access option. If you choose Edit, Members can view and change their group participation, and you can control whether members can choose member groups within their member profile and or within the initial membership application form. If you choose View Only, members can view but not change their participation within their member profile. If you choose No Access, members can neither view nor change their group participation. After you make your choice, click Save All Changes. To restrict page access to selected member groups, begin editing the page you want to restrict access to. Within the Access Level options that appear in the Page Settings on the left, click the Restricted option. Now, choose the Member Groups and optionally Membership Levels that can view the page. If you restrict access by both Membership Levels and Member Groups, then members who belong to any of the selected levels or groups will be able to access the page. If you check the All Levels or All Groups option, then all levels or groups, including any levels or groups added in the future, will be selected. After you have made your choice, click the Save button to save your changes. To restrict blogs and forums by member groups, Begin editing the page containing the blog or discussion forum gadget. 
Next, hover over the blog or discussion forum gadget and click the settings icon. Within the gadget settings, under access permissions, choose the permissions to be granted to membership levels and or member groups. Finally, click the save button to save your changes. To restrict access to an event to selected member groups, go to the events module and open the event you want to restrict access to. Within the event details, click the admin only or public link towards the top. Within the dialog that appears, click the restricted option. Next, check each of the member groups and optionally membership levels you want to grant access to. Now click Save to save your choices. To send an email blast to members of a member group, go to the Advanced Member or Contact search. Now click the Add Criteria link. Next, choose the Group Participation Criteria and click OK. Then click the checkbox next to the member group name. To save the advanced search for future email blasts, enter a name for the save search and click the Save button. Finally, click the Email Members or Email Contacts button. As you can see, member groups provide a powerful tool for organizing your members. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.